Hello, I'm Eddie Ojeda from Twisted Sister. I'm a guitar player, and it is actually my first box opening video. So here we go. I'm opening the box. See, it's heavy, so you know it's not cheap. It smells electronic. Okay, got it. Cable here. Everybody likes a head rush once in a while. And Kulo, wow, check it out. Okay, let's get this thing plugged in. What's up everyone? Brian here with Head Rush. I'm here with Eddie Ojeda of the Almighty Twisted Sister. And we're gonna talk about, you know, a little bit of rock and roll and some questions here. How do you survive the boredom of the road? The good thing now is you have the internet, right? Mm -hmm. You know, the last 14 years that we toured, having the internet was great because you got to watch movies, and you, you get into the YouTube void. Okay, and you, you just know, go down thing, the rabbit yeah, hole, one, huh? One leads to the next, you know, especially <laughs> if you go back and start watching old videos like The Stones or Grand Funk or, you know, it's Cream, it, they kind of lead one into the other, you know, like some of the Hendrix stuff. And there's so much stuff to, be entertained with now. And, oh, you, know, you got everything. You know, not the porn sites. I mean, <laughs> just stay away from those. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> How do you prepare for tour and pre production? You know, tight rehearsals out in uh, Long Island, a place called Evolution. I like to just stay in my room and practice, even though I know the songs. Mm. I just like to know them to the point where, like, I'm bored. So it's a second you, nature, right? Because you, you go on stage, no matter what, how you feel, you just got that extra confidence. So that's a good way to stay out of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that, everyone. Yes. Play the guitar all to you, stay out of trouble. All you kids out there <laughs> just starting to tour in your twenties. I know. You know, you may right. end up on the your ass may end up on the internet. <laughs> Where do you draw your inspiration from when you're having trouble writing? It's just like a natural process. It's, I never sit down and say, I'm gonna write something now. <laughs> you know, it just kind of happens. And sometimes I'll just be like practicing, messing around, and all of a sudden I'll, I'll come up with a good riff and then I'll put it down. But now with, you know, now with the, with the cell phones, I could put down whatever idea I get right away. Or sometimes if I hear a certain song, a new song I like or a certain beat, mm. It might get me in the mood to jam out to that beat, and that that will also create some uh, yeah inspiration from others, yeah, right? Yeah, a vibe to play, you know, to come up with stuff. You know? What's your favorite country to visit? Vienna is an awesome place for music. There's so much history there. It's an awesome, awesome place to go. Put that on a bucket list. Yeah, definitely. What do you think of the head rush pedal? It's amazing. It's like you can have a hundred amps in one unit. If you were to buy those amps separately, not only would they take up a ton of space, but you know, it would cost you a fortune. You know? yeah. There's everything in there you could want. The, the pedal. I always like when the pedal is a pedal built right into the board. Yeah, the expression. The, for the expression pedal that you could, you know, assign to a, either um, expression or wah wah or volume. Where do you see the modeling world going into the future? There's no reason to not use uh, the modeling stuff now. Yeah, it's come a you long way. Like, like Head Rush, because it's just, uh, it's endless. I think it's getting better and better. Cool, so that's all the questions I got for you today. Thank you so much, my man. My pleasure. So once again, Brian here. We got Eddie. Eddie Ojeda. We're in the almighty home of the FU Tone. Huge love to Adam Reaver here. Stay tuned and get ready for some crazy head rush. Get one at your nearest music store. I'm sure you'll have fun. <laughs>